So I've been asked lately how I mature my cheese. So I thought I'd give a quick update on the Fontina to show you what I'm doing during the affinage or the maturation period of the cheese. So with this cheese, I'm basically washing it once a week, taking it out of the ripening box, making sure I drain all of the whey out of the box and then give that a quick rinse under the tap, under the hot water, and then basically take it off its mat. And you can see a little bit of a white bloom has happened there. Uh, this is the 11 week mark. So I'm just wiping that over with a simple brine solution. That's one cup of cooled boiled water with one teaspoon of non-iodized salt. So I'm just wiping that all over. Now if I had a brush, I could use a brush, but I prefer to use my hands because I can actually feel the surface of the cheese and see if there's gonna be any blemishes or any of the rind may come loose. I don't really want that to happen. I want the rind to stay intact during this washing process. Now you can see there that I'm scraping off little bits of mold growth there's been some blue mold that started growing on the outside of this as well as the white bloom uh, so i'm just picking that off there and give that a final rinse so basically the reason you do this washing uh, for these sorts of natural rind cheeses is to develop the rind itself and that's what i'm trying to do in the maturation box now the maturation box traps in any of the moisture that may evaporate from the cheese itself and it creates a little humid pocket uh, it's a little environment that the cheese can develop in so make sure that once you've washed your cheese that all the uh, the lids and the box itself is dry just uh, forgot to do that before I put the cheese back in so I'm just uh, draining that out wiping it through with a uh, paper towel make sure that's all dry and then I'm going to spray that with white vinegar to kill off any yeast or molds that may grow so just a light spritz there with the white vinegar that's in that bottle so I'll just pop the cheese back in there pop the lid back on so you don't dry it off or anything like that just let it stay there moist it'll absorb the salt anyway so pop that back into your cheese cave so that was at 11 weeks so at the 12 week mark, and it hasn't got many weeks to go actually, I get to uh, taste test this in a couple of weeks. So we're just gonna wash that over. A little bit of the blue came back again the next week. So just wiping that off there with my hand and using that simple brine solution again, just wiping that all over, just dipping my hand in to keep it moist. And basically that's all we're doing. And that'll help firm up the rind, as I mentioned before. Pick off any bits that shouldn't be there. <laughs> There's always a bit that shouldn't be there. But uh, yeah, just nice and simple. Don't wipe it over with a cloth or anything like that. Like I said, if you've got a brush, then you can use a brush. But I find that it sprays the simple brine solution all over you. <laughs> so don't do that. <laughs> Unless you've got a really big brush. Okay, once again, just wiping that over. And this will be ready on the 7th of March. So I hope you enjoyed that Fontina update and how I mature my cheese when I'm making a natural rind. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out some of our other videos here. You can support the channel via Patreon. Check out the link below. Thanks for watching Curd Nerds and I'll see you next time.